yeah, so you might be thinking like I'm spending a lot of time creating content. I'm spending a lot of time posting. I'm spending a lot of time in my messenger. Can I free up that time? You know, can I get more results, better results? If I hire someone to be in my messenger, if someone takes over and you might have even received these messages like, hey, we have uh, an appointment setter agency. Um, we have a VA agency. We can help you with content creation, with posting, with booking calls, enrolling clients. Are you interested? And that makes you think, you know, do I need to do that? Am I ready for that step? Should I? Is it okay to have someone in my messenger? Is it okay to have someone create my content? And it's a big step. <laughs> I can relate. It is a big step. Um, and I took that step in 2018, the first time. Um, so I hired VAs, different VAs for different uh, jobs. And I did that again and again over these years, 2018, 2019, 2020 as well. Um, and I hired these VAs from different countries with different skills uh, to be in my messenger, to create content, to post content for me. And yeah, there's a, a lot of things that I learned there. Um, and the biggest thing that I have learned in this hiring process, especially when it comes to uh, VAs, is that you can only hire if you have a proven system. So a system means something that you implement that leads to results. So for whatever the task is that you're looking uh, to get help with, you need to make sure that you have a system, a process that you follow that leads to results. So let's take the messenger strategy, the messenger thing as an example, right? So if you're currently building your course coaching business, you're active in Messenger, you're having conversations with ideal clients, you're trying to find ideal clients, and you're having good conversations sometimes, but they don't actually lead to a call yet, to a closed client yet. Then it is really important to not hire a VA, to not hire someone to take over that process because you execute it, yes, but the results aren't there yet. And as a business owner, you cannot expect that you hire someone and that this person has better results than you have yourself. So what I want you to realize is, okay, for these things that I'm thinking about hiring, um, am I getting the results myself already? Is this a proven process? Is this something that is proven to work. So for Messenger, am I booking calls? Am I enrolling clients? And am I doing that consistently? Because one time can be a coincidence, right? But two times, the chances are, more, are less likely. Three times, even less likely. So then it becomes like a validated thing, a proven thing that you can do again and again. And therefore, once you are there, once you can achieve the end result with this thing that you're thinking of hiring something for, someone for, once you can get to the result consistently yourself, you one, know how to get there. So you know how to instruct someone to do that thing as well. And because you repeatedly get the desired result, you can look at that process and you can start to document it. So you can look at each and every single step that you follow to get to that desired result and you can document it. And what I always uh, suggest then is that you document it in two different ways. So one is in written text and one is in video, a video of you actually doing that thing. So you can use Zoom for that, Zoom screen share and you record in Zoom or you use a software tool that I really like, which is called Loom. It is paid. It's not uh, not a lot, but it is paid. So Zoom or Loom, where you execute the thing, you record it, and then you send it over to this person. So you have both the instructions in written form and you have the instructions um, in a video form. So you actually doing the thing. So if you are thinking of hiring someone 
to do a certain thing, to hire a VA to do a certain job, make sure that this is a proven process because you cannot train someone on something that you have not successfully done yourself. It's really, really important. Um, that's another thing. Hiring someone to be in your messenger, hiring someone to create content for you, and a lot of other things requires training, right? So oftentimes coaches, course creators think, I'm, I need someone in my messenger, like I'm consumed, I feel burnt out. I need someone in my messenger to free up that time. And the thing is, when you hire someone to take over a process in your business, it requires training. And training is oftentimes more time consuming, energy consuming than doing the thing yourself. Am I saying here now that you shouldn't? No, not at all. Like I'm all about systems. I'm all about shortcuts. I'm all about the processes. I'm all about scaling your business. Like I love helping coaches and course creators scale their business like really, really fast. So I'm all about it. But you, you need to do the right things within your business in the right order. So let's say you're a new coach or course creator. Um, you're working on getting your first few clients. Your efforts are not, should, your efforts should not be spent on training a team. Your efforts should be spent on learning the processes yourself and rolling your first few clients yourself. So instead of then investing your time in a VA, investing your resources in a VA that you cannot properly train just yet, Hire a coach, hire someone to help you with that process of having conversations, knowing how to effectively have these conversations so that it creates interest, so that they book a call with you. Hire someone to help you with sales so that you know what to do, what to say when you hop on a call, so that you know how to qualify a lead, how to know that this is someone that is able and willing to invest, you know? Focus on optimizing this process yourself first, on learning these skills yourself first, so that they lead, they lead to the desired result, thing that you want to accomplish. And once you're there and you did it a few times, then you can hire someone because you've documented that entire path. You can get to results yourself and you know how to effectively um, communicate it, how, effect how to effectively teach it and how to get another person to that exact same result. So this, knowing this would have saved me months, maybe even years of struggle, you know? I wanted to hire an agency. I wanted to hire a VA to take over and make it easier for me, but that's not how it works as an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, you have the responsibility to find out how you can get to a certain outcome yourself. And once you're there, once you have that consistency there, and it doesn't have to take long, by the way. So if you're, you don't have any clients right now, you can get your first clients within a matter of weeks, if you know how. And, but once you are there, you can start to hire someone. So it might seem that um, I'm suggesting that you don't do this for the months to come or years to come, not true at all. You can be there in a matter of weeks, but you have to do these things yourself first so that you can properly, properly instruct someone to take over. And that brings me to another thing. Um, I've been reading your posts, so I really feel excited on sharing my knowledge here because I wish someone uh, would have done that when I was on the struggle bus, you know. Um, the example of wanting to hire someone to be in your messenger. Um, there's two really important things that you need to optimize there one is that when once you are ready to hire someone is that you hire someone with sales experience and sales skills so oftentimes new coaches course creators hire vas from the philippines from india from bangladesh countries like that um and these people usually did not have do not have a lot of sales experience do not have a lot of business experience do not have certain skills, certain knowledge that you need, like basic skills and knowledge that you need 
to operate a sales role because what you have to realize someone in messenger is executing a sales role it is not just sending messages it is a sales role because it has to lead to a specific result that is related to sales right selling your offer selling your course so it is a sales role this person that you're hiring for this role needs to have an understanding at least of sales needs to understand what is needed to form a bond, a relationship with an ideal client. They need to understand how to nurture a lead, how to make sure that they get more and more interested over time. They need to know how to handle objections. And of course, you can train someone on that process. But if they don't have that basic understanding, it is really, really hard and it's most likely not going to work. So I think I hired over 15 v different VAs at that stage in 2018 to try to have them adopt this process and it didn't work. And then I realized that I need someone who has this basic understanding of sales, people skills, you know? So I would skip these countries entirely. I know that it's very... Um, it sounds very appealing to hire someone from these countries because it's only like four or five dollars an hour. It's cheap. We're just starting a business, but it's not, not the best thing to do. The best thing is to hire someone that is a native speaker in the language that, where you communicate in. So someone from your country or another country that speaks the same language or has that as a second language. Because it's another barrier that makes it harder, you know. And the thing is, once you are ready, to hire someone to be in your messenger, it doesn't have to cost you a lot because this is a sales role, which means you can hire someone on a commission basis. So that means that you would only have to pay them once they book a call that you close, that becomes a client. So you make money and from the money that you make because of the work that this person puts in, you pay them. So it's not like a big risk, but what you also do not want to happen is that this person spends a lot of time in your messenger, but is not able to book calls because you cannot instruct them properly. And then they leave, you know, you want to have someone that works with you long-term. So you want to make sure that you can effectively teach the process. And to be able to effectively teach the process, you have to get good, consistent results yourself first. Um, Another important thing is that this person really needs to adopt your tone of voice um, and your strategy, your strategic way of having conversations. Um, and this is not easy. <laughs> this is not easy. It requires training. It requires looking at the process with them. And that's also why I strongly advise not to hire an agency to be in your messenger. I work with a ton of coaches, course creators. I've worked with hundreds, I think even thousands at this point. And I hear it a lot. They hire an agency to do this process, but that is not the thing that you want to do because you want to, you want to train someone properly. You want someone to stay with you for longer. You want someone to be involved in this process to form a closer bond and relationship with to train over time and an agency is focused on mass production of their service you know it's not someone that you have close to you that stays with you it is someone that works for different people over time and that is not focused on your business specifically on adopting your tone of voice specifically that cares about the results that you get you know it's not something that you want to do, hire an agency. It doesn't work. I've never heard it working from a coach or course creator that I've worked with so far that hired an agency. You need to have someone in-house, someone close to you, oh, someone close to you that you can train properly, uh, that you're very involved with, because you cannot expect someone to be in your messenger and know what they have to do right away um, because they did not... Uh, uh, adopt your tone of voice just yet they do not know about your niche about your offer they need to adopt all of that and you cannot expect that from an agency you know